Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Cozy Threads box. I know what you're thinking. If you watched my region boots, kids, men's, women's boots, it was a disaster. Why the heck would I order from them again? Here's why. I have been doing a great job at keeping track of exactly what I'm getting in my mystery boxes, following up with when they sell, how much I make. And my first box from Cozy was the brand new kids shoes where I had a bunch of the same pairs. And to be honest, I've actually sold a lot from that box. So that one was okay. The second one was terrible. So I, for me, I found a discount code. You guys know I love sourcing from Thread Up. So I figured I needed to give this company one more chance, like the third time. So I've had an okay box, a terrible box. What's the third one going to be? And I would kind of really base whether or not I continue to order from this company based on the third order. So I was checking every day. You guys know my preferred items to sell are shoes. Mainly kids shoes are my favorites and they just hadn't had anything in stock. They finally did have some used kids shoes, which I know I said I wasn't gonna buy used from them again, but I buy the kids shoes from Thread Up often and I've had incredible success with that. So I said, you know what? I found this box. 25 pairs, which usually the thread up boxes are only 10. So it was 25 pairs for $72, but I had a 10% off code that brought it down to $64.80, which means the cost of goods for these shoes, $2.59 each. Uh, I cannot source shoes for that cheap, even kid shoes. Even at Once Upon a Child, the bins, I hardly ever find good condition kids there. And my Goodwills are pricing kids shoes now from seven to $12. So I thought as long as there was a couple of pairs, I could make some profit. All right, so keep that in mind. I will give Cozy, you guys probably already read the title of this. Um, I had to reach out to customer service regarding this order, but I wanted to wait and do this all at once because I do feel like this company is going through some growing pains and um, it, it's, a, it's a happy story for, for me anyway. And I know a lot of my reseller friends are having their own experiences with this company. So anyway, I ordered this box on 5-5, so May the 5th, and it arrived to me on the 10th. So five days later, which I think that right there, they, they deserve some props. Now, here's the problem. Sorry for the lighting, I have a ton of windows. If you've ordered from them, you know that their boxes are huge, unnecessarily huge. Well, I happened to be home and saw the postal worker walking up with it and he was carrying it like ever so gingerly and said, I'm so sorry this box arrived on my truck this way. And you guys, ignore this little glob, but this is how it was delivered to me. Like literally, I could see inside it. It was just completely wide open. like one piece of tape across the top, which was completely not touching. The box is so huge for what was in there. And I looked in and I'm like, there is no way that's 25 pairs of shoes. So sure enough, there was only 11 pairs of shoes in here. Now, I also want to say my first two boxes I got, they were shoes, kid shoes. There was 20 pairs, I think. And then the boots both came in this giant box that was all busted no padding in there, so they're just all everywhere. And shockingly, both of those boxes did arrive with, I could see in it, but nothing was missing. This box, however, I was missing 14 pairs. And I'm like, how in the world, how can I prove that? So I immediately, within five minutes of this arriving, got in it, counted how many I had, I reached out to their customer service, I sent like four pictures of the box, and I just said, how can I proceed? Because I'm missing over half of my order. And I have to give them some serious props because they replied back, I think within 30 minutes. Um, her name is Rebecca. And I later found out she's a one man customer service show. Like their company is so small, though I see a lot of people ordering at this moment, they only have one person running customer service. So for her to answer back, you know, that was great. She apologized. She's like, I'm so sorry. I will sh have 14 new pairs shipped out to you. She did recognize we have heard from you guys that our boxes are terrible. We've ordered new boxes. We have new tape coming that has the rope in it. She said like, you know that, whatever. So she says they're fixing it, which I thought that was great. So that was Tuesday. I did get a shipping alert later that day and I had another box on Saturday. So four days later and we'll get to that. So now is where I'm like, okay, they did great. 
uh, it shipped wonderfully on time. Supposedly they're working on their shipping packaging. Their customer service that I dealt with was fantastic. So now we're gonna go to what was in that first box. Now I can't speak for the whole box, of course, because remember I'm, I was missing 14 pairs. All I can do is show you the 11 that were left and we'll go from there. So, um, you know, I've got thing, I've gotten Doc Martens from Thread Up, Keen, Mini Melissa, a lot of great shoes. So I really did, didn't have much expectation other than you guys know by now. I have three kids, so I don't mind finding things for my kids. And for the most part, my Once Upon a Child will take any size, any style of kids' shoes as long as they are functional and I would say in good condition. They don't have to be great, but good. So, and I'm making a trip to Once Upon a Child anyway this week, so... Let's just dig in, shall we? Okay. Um, I had heard from someone that they're not gonna be packaging like this anymore because I know for me, I do double bag my items, but most of the bags in my previous boxes ended up tearing. They're not the resealable kind, so. All right, these are um, stepping stones, which I don't know, I think it's like a family dollar or just really cheapy little jellies. Now the positive is I know that my buy sell trade will take this. Will I recoup $2.59? Absolutely not because they'll probably sell these for $2.99 and you only get 30%. So I'll probably make like 60 cents. So that didn't start out well. And I haven't taken any of these out of the packaging yet. I did just look at them. All right, these are Jamboree, which if you've, not Jamboree like closed up. Did they reopen? I don't know. Children's Place bought them or something. But anyway, Jamboree is not cheap, but these do, are not going to resell for a lot. Uh, the size, these are from 2017 and they're a size seven. So they're in decent shape. I give them that. But these, I'm not, I'm only going to list kids shoes that will bring me at least a $10 profit. And these are not those. But again, I know buy, sell, trade will take them. My hope was out of 25 pairs to have at least like 10 that I could sell. So we'll see. All right, these are cool. These are Jurassic World shoes, size 10. These are so far in the best condition that we've seen. And actually before my first cozy box, I probably would not have listed these. But if you remember, I got like 10 pairs of cars, Disney cars, sneakers, very similar to this. I wonder if these light up. Oh, they do. Um, and I sold all of those. Surprise. I, I was shocked. So these I will list myself. So I will recoup my money on that. Those are cool. They're still lighting up. In my hair. Okay, these are all I can see. Oh, something it kicks. They just look like a cheapy, like an Amazon or maybe Walmart, um, just a little fashion sneaker. They have no, oh, they like slick. Okay, inside here was worn off, but right here it says slick kicks, US size three. So I will look those up. They're probably nothing, but once upon a child will love them. Okay. These are old navy. These are the first like trash pair you can see. Hold on. Maybe you can see. They're just really cracked and beat up. Now I will, I won't actually trash these. These will go and I have we um, donate to a local charity place and I will donate those there. These are rugged outback complete with a whole lot of mud. So I will toss these in the washer and these will go to once upon a child. Please stay tuned. I promise the story gets, takes a little bit of a turn. You have to hang in there with me. Hear that part. All right, these are Circo. They are very, very old. They are also probably not even going to make it to Once Upon a Child because they're dirty and I'm not, like they're cracking in here. I'm not gonna take the time to clean those up. These are really cute, but unfortunately they are just Wonder Nation, which is Walmart. 
which means even buy, sell, trade won't give me much. I'll still take them there though. They're really cute. I like all the colors. They're like the laceless kind. Um, they're little, they're a size seven. So there's that. These would have been a great find because my girls do dance. However, this is not their size. These are a pair of little girls tap shoes, which tap shoes are not cheap. These are probably $40, but they're, they're very heavy. And so I have found that I've sold them, but I don't make much profit. So if these were 12s, I would be so happy because I actually am going, the reason I'm going to Once Upon a Child this week is because I need size 12 black tap shoes because it's recital season and hers, we just need another new pair. So what a bummer. If these had been one size bigger, I would have been stoked with this box, honestly, because it would have almost paid for this. So I will list those myself, even though I know I won't make a ton. See, some of these bags just don't open at all and you have to tear them. These are Wonder Nation again. These are just a really cheapy pair of um, fake leather little flats. Now I will, uh, these are size three, which is my daughter's, she's coming into that size. And these are like, once upon a child's not gonna take them because you see they're like splitting. However, these would be cute. She could wear these to school on art or music day. She's into wearing dresses. So I do think she could get a tiny bit of wear out of those and it, it's fine. All right, and the last pair out of this box, remember I only got 11. These look really dirty. So these are uh, something super cheap. Tani, Tiani Bo design. I don't know, some kind of something. They're very lightweight. They're pretty dirty. I don't know. I'll sit like they are, we got some scuffing. I'll send those once upon a child, they probably won't take them. Okay, so those are the 11 that I got. Out of those, I will list two. Keep one for my kid because it, it's either that or donate. Trashing two and the rest once upon a child. So I've got the T-Rex and the tap shoes. Now, so I wasn't expecting much. After I saw these, I'm like, okay, definitely would never buy this box again, but let's see what 14 they, they send me. So here's where I have mixed feelings. Now, I do wanna give them another shout out in a positive way, because this is the box that arrived on Saturday, a much smaller box, and it was taped, had two pieces of tape, and it's filled to the brim. Now, because there are 14 pairs in here, that means somebody had to fill this box for me specifically. Like it says on the side, um, uh, kids, K at BK, like kids shoes dash 14. So like somebody did this for me. Now they didn't know I have a YouTube channel. They don't know. All they know is that they have a, a little bit of an unhappy customer. And when I show you these shoes, this is what I was hoping to get in that first box. But being as that you guys saw 11 pairs, I didn't see any shoes that looked like these. I want to give the disclaimer that I personally feel like these were hand selected for me. You'll see why I say that. Um, but this is what I was hoping to get. And this reminds me more of what I would get from Thread Up. Here's why. Because the very first pair I pull out was a pair of Adidas, which I didn't get any name brand shoes in that last box. It was all Walmart, Target. There was not a single pair. No, not a single pair of name brand at all. Other than the block tap shoes. Okay, so these are super cute. Um, they're actually a collaboration of Mini Rodini, which is a very expensive kids brand with Adidas. Like these alone are better than any, any of the other 11 pairs. So listen, I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful that I got these, but I wouldn't have gotten them if I had gotten what I got in the first place, if that makes sense. All right, so there are these, which yes, those are yes. Oh, I can, I'm trying to salvage any of these that I can save. All right. These are, and actually I feel like maybe they improved their bags because these have both opened very easily. Maybe they, they changed to resealable. These are Zara, just a really cute 
great condition. Little pair of what I consider fashionable sneakers. We've got a pair of Nikes. They are a size six and a half. Now they are older, they're from 2014, but I mean, they just, they need a wash. But still, they're Nikes, right? Like, okay. So you see, this is where I was getting a little suspicious. Like, these are all pretty great shoes. And now it could have been just totally random. You know, I've gotten amazing thread up boxes and terrible ones as well. Another pair of Nikes, Nike Air 27. I don't know, I'm not a sneaker person. I always, on Nikes, these are a size four. I just type in the style number. So if you look at my listings, it looks like I know what I'm talking about. I don't, but these are cool. They're red, white, and blue. They could use a little bit of a wipe down, but otherwise I would keep these from, this is my son's current size, but he needs the next size. So you see so far, there's nothing that I'm not gonna list myself. Now these are Cat and Jack, but Cat and Jack has a following and, and I do well selling that brand. I don't buy it myself, but when it comes to my house in the form of mystery boxes, I always list it. My kids wear a lot of it. These are size 10 and these are brand new without tag. They are really cute. Look at the little dinosaur tail. These are so fun. These are something my son would have worn many moons ago. So those are great. Even though I wouldn't consider those a name brand, they're still really cute and trendy. Same for these. These are um, Carters, which is, you know, definitely not anything super special, but they kind of look like docks, but not so much that I think that they're trying to be a dupe, but they're really cute. And they have the teeniest bit of dirt, so I will wipe them down, but these are Carters and I'm still gonna list them. I still think that's a, those are a win. These are pretty cool. I haven't taken any of these out of the bags either. I just like looked at them. So these are, I don't know what these are actually. They just look cool. They're called, I don't, I'm gonna feel really dumb. They just have a lightning bolt. Maybe they're nothing. It says super heroic inside. So I guess that is the brand, superheroic.com. They're a toddler size 12. I don't know. I just think they're really cool and they say, something here. I don't know. I'm going to have to look them up for playground use only. Like I just think they have a really cool little design and they say super heroic on the side and they don't feel cheapy. So, but I just feel like I know a lot of kids shoe brands and I don't know those. Now these are, I love them. They're the brand Jules, J O U L E S, which is a great kids brand. Not only do they have sparkly laces and glitter embroidery, look at these soles. I love glitter. My husband calls it devil dust, but I love it. And these are like a um, light blue leather. They're from 2019. They are a US size one. And honestly, I'm probably keeping these for my daughter. She is in an 11 and a half to 12 right now, so maybe I won't tell you how many size up bins I have, but those are so cute. All right, we have a pair of Sperry's, which are a hard sell. I mean, I can sell men's Sperry's, but kids and women's, not as easily. And they do eventually sell. So these are kind of fun. They are all sequin. They are, these are the dirtiest ones so far, but a magic eraser will help that. These are a women's size five, it says. So not exactly kids, because it literally says women's, but they show a little bit of wear. These are another pair that, just because my buy sell trade, mm, they might take them, but I feel like they're yellowed and they're not supposed to be. But these are a cool pair that I will just toss in my daughter's size up bin, my older one, and that's her style, for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. These are what I saw, you know, I kind of dumped these out and shoved them back in before I made this video. I usually don't peek, but for this, I had, I'm like, please, what did they send me this time? These right here, you'll see. Brand new with the tags, Crocs. In my older daughter's 
size up, which, and we buy these. $40 price tag, which I know that to be, Crocs kind of have a set price. So remember, I paid 64. So these right here, if these had been in that first box, I would have been like, we win. So I won't be selling these, but like, this is awesome. Well done, Cozy. You know, like in a used box, you don't expect new items, but to throw one in, that's great, right? So you can see the quality difference though, you know, like another pair of Nikes. These are a big kid size five, which is the size I need for my son for the upcoming school year. I promise I didn't tell this chick anything about having kids or whatever, but these are team hustles and I just think they're cool. And I like my kids to have a lot of shoes because it's like they rent them, they wear them and then I pay, I sell them and it's like they wore them for free. So yay for my school shopping being done for me. Oh my gosh, my hair keeps getting stuck, not for long. All right, these are also, I keep saying these are so cool. Look at these Nikes. I don't know what they are. There's a something there that has that same logo up here. I'll know once I look them up, but they're a big kid size three. Great condition. Yeah. And I did not have a single pair of name brand shoes in that first one, remember? So you have to give me your thoughts. Did they hand select this stuff? Like, I, I don't know. Another pair of Nikes. These have the stuffing in them. They're not new. They are a, also a big kid size five. I'll ask my son, but he might not. These aren't as cool as some of the other ones he has. So we'll see. So I'll probably list these. They do need a little wipe down around the base. And they do definitely show some wear down here. So we'll see. I might actually keep these as like his throw down let's go to the park play shoes but still they're nikes right my once upon a child would still definitely take those all right and the last pair another name brand i have sold these exact shoes they're called like the crab something these are kamek they make great snow boots as well but these are like kind of little keen style sandals in perfect condition so it kind of leaves me like you know, if I saw the kid's shoe box come available again, do I buy it? I don't know because if they sent me a box with like the 11 shoes from the first box, absolutely not. Now, were they still worth the $2? It's up for debate, you know, like none of those shoes, you know, the Jurassic Park shoes, maybe they'll probably, those will probably sell for 15 bucks. So, and the, the same for the tap shoes, they're not going to sell for that much. I don't know, but if I got a box like the second box, heck yeah. Like if I sold all of these, if I wasn't gonna keep any of them, I mean, shoot, just these Crocs would sell for 30. That would cover half of the cost that I spent. Um, so yeah, but are you? which box are you gonna get? I don't know. So this is where I tell you that I use these mystery boxes absolutely as a source of entertainment. I love a good mystery. Like this is fun for me. Even if I get a box of poop, I like it. I, I like the thrill, the mystery, the unknown. Like, and, and I feel like that is expendable income. If I didn't have $64 that I could literally just go blow at a restaurant, I don't suggest, like if you don't have the money to be able to risk is what I'm trying to say, because you could get a box of complete garbage. On the flip side, I have made thousands of dollars from mystery boxes. So I never want you to think I'm a reseller telling you mystery boxes are, should be your go-to for inventory. No, the bins, Dollar days, we don't have that here, but I know some of you guys do. Clearance days, your local consignment stores. So I don't know, take it for what you will, but I know based on my channel and my views, you guys love a good mystery box like I do. These are my most watched videos. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Like, am I crazy for thinking the second box? Like, I don't know, I don't know what to think. So drop me a comment, drop me a like on your way out. I appreciate you guys so much for supporting my channel. It's been such a fun little ride and I am gonna try to get like more in a groove. Uh, making these videos is exciting for me, um, but I am kind of not ordering as much right now just because I'm trying to catch up. And I know that's never gonna happen because I still love to go sourcing, but you guys seem to enjoy my thrift with me's or bins, but I forgot to say in my one bins video, there are signs on our bins now that say absolutely no videotaping or photography. So I can't take any recording inside the bins anymore, unfortunately. So I don't know what happened there, but anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.